Hey Cancer, how are you? I'm fine and uh, I hope you're doing well and that you are safe. This is going to be your reading for the 8th to the 14th of June and uh, why you are not the 7th video that I've put out there well I'll uh, tell you because you were the ninth in the row um, because I didn't have that many thumbs uh, uh, it was Gemini that had the most thumbs up and likes and then it was a uh, Capricorn and then Aquarius no sorry it was first Gemini then uh, then it was Capricorn and then it was Libra. So Libra has sprung out this month and also um, Taurus is doing very well and Sagittarius. Sagittarius is coming out of its shell. <laughs> so if you would like to be first then give me more likes or give the channel likes or the video likes. Let your uh, uh, your uh, let us know that you have watched the video and then you will be the first as I'm going to do that from now on for a while uh, just to show my appreciation for your sharing and likes so the one that has the most likes will uh, be the first in the row okay I'm using the Shadowlands tarot deck and I'm also using the um, Mirror Truth Lenaman and I'm using the Big Arcana, the White Witch's Tarot and the Angel Feather this week and you must probably uh, have already uh, watched or know that there is a competition so here we go this is what you can win uh, if you're uh, the first if you're the winner the first one the first person the first winner then you have the choice between this brand new deck or the Vice Versa deck and the second person um, will get what the uh, what is left after the first uh, person, the winner, has chosen. So uh, you might be lucky to win the Shadowlands if the first person doesn't take the Shadowlands, you'll get the vice versa. And the first, a third uh, person that is wins will get a free reading for 20 minutes, one on one and we are making a vision board so nobody loses out because you can learn how to use a vision board and manifest what you're wishing for or what your goal is and you will have that to carry on with so nobody loses out and all the hard work that you put into it is not for nothing so please keep on sharing the channel and liking the videos and then you might be number one in the readings next week okay I hope you have enjoyed the uh, update on the yearlies the seven month forecast and the, uh, the romance readings uh, I did have a lot of uh, likes and uh, appreciation for that thank you very much and I try to uh, keep myself uh, on my toes by um, get, uh, doing uh, extra things or fun things either in the life or in the readings. So I hope you will enjoy this reading. Um, this is the spread that I do when I have a one-on-one -on -one session. I do the nine card spread plus two uh, oracle cards and I usually use just one deck in the, the reading and I use an other deck, let it be Tarot or Lenormand as clarifying cards. And um, I use this but I do only, um, uh, I don't really go into depth into the reading on life otherwise I'll be sitting here 45 to an hour minutes. Okay, so um, I'm going to read it this way. This is the Querent or the overall catalytic card, theme card that I usually have on the side, the bottom of the deck. So this is the Querent card and I'm pretending that you are sitting in front of me so the camera is you. So that's the Querent card. This is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And I've put these four cards out and those you can take as Monday, Wednesday, 
uh, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But I'm using this as this corner and I'll use these cards to uh, clarify this one and this one to clarify those. The same with the other corners and um, that's how you get more um, information just in the general. If it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Okay, sorry about my finger, it looks more awful than what it is, or it, 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 it's not dirt, it's just that I hurt myself. So, if you're wondering what that is, it is not dirt. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Mm. Okay, um, first of all, Cancer, we I'm going to start off with the uh, Querent card, and you've got four. So, there is stability and a proper foundation but it seems that you are unfocused on what not focused on what is going on around you only what is right in front of you you are not seeing what is on offer you are dreaming about it but you don't realize there are things on offer so the advice is don't be in your head don't just watch what is happening in front of you but also what is happening around you there could be an offer offered to you this week and you didn't expect it at all or you didn't see it coming now on Monday you have the Ace of Swords and that is victory look at this little bird sitting on the cloud <laughs> he's trying to get a different perspective and that is what you should do get a different perspective see things around you or something from a higher point of view. Victory is yours. You might start a new study. If you're in a judicial situation, you have one. You will get what you deserve, and so will the other. And also, this card means clarity. Clarity, justice, and honesty will prevail. There might be new communication. You might start communicating with somebody that you haven't spoken to for a long time. Or if you didn't want to speak to somebody, then all of a sudden it might start up again. You might start a job as a teacher, a presenter, a presentator, a, a speaker, um, you name it. Uh, you might also start a, a medical study or a judicial study something to do with municipalities or institutions this could be from a teacher to a doctor a surgeon because it cuts he cuts something that represents the swords justice communication and wisdom so there you go that is on Monday now on Wednesday you have a lot of sword cards so you're moving up from one to two at the moment, you on Wednesday, you might feel that you uh, don't know what you like. This card is a lot like this card. He's not seeing what is happening in front of him or around him. And here, you're not seeing what's happening in front of you. This card means that you might be too much in your head out of balance because it's a two. You should get back into balance. You might feel left out. You might feel cut off and you've closed your heart off, your solar plex, your mind to new ideas and your vision. You don't want, perhaps you don't want to see what is happening around you. So open up, throw away those swords, open up your solar plex, open up your heart, see what is in front of you, then you can make a de decision or a choice. And you can also receive love if you open your heart. Now on a Friday you have the Knight of so uh, Knight of Wands. Look at the fire. Wow. It's like ideas have sparked off. It's like the flames are coming out of his head. Something uh, has sparked your um, sparked you off if you have opened up your solar plex your heart and your mind and your vision you are putting your ideas into action or you have done and you will receive news with regards to this idea uh, you had and that you've put into action so it could come 
uh, from a fire sign a Sagittarius Aries or a Leo um, but you once you get this news you'll have to act swiftly upon it it could also be new passion like I said there might be new communication with somebody that you fancied that you dreamt about and there might have been an offer from that person and you're starting to communicate again because look at the rose it could be new passion but the knight of wand also means moving home so you could be moving home at the weekend there will be celebrations look wow this is celebrations with family and friends the three of cups so perhaps you might be moving in because I see that he's got his big bag um, to travel so you might be moving in with somebody Ooh, nice one okay uh, cancer sorry I just had to do something um, this deck just makes me laugh uh, I, I there's a serious side to it and a fun side and I hope whoever gets this deck in the competition they will have so much laughter and pleasure it makes my my sense of humor tickles it tickles my sense of humor I sit here and laugh and I just see more things happening in these cards it's so funny it's great stuff I, um, I don't mind being alone <coughs> anyway this is your card from the Linnemann from the corner and you've got the heart and you've got the Jack of Hearts the page of hearts so that's the page of cups so in that could be the page of cups is Pisces but it don't exclude Cancer or Scorpio either you are back in balance or you are in balance you've got 24 which is 6 <coughs> excuse me so you have success you might meet your soul mate okay you might get news from your soulmate if he's the page of cups so if he's or she is a Pisces then you might get a, a love message ooh nice the, I like the way the branches form into a heart coming together you are soulmates really and there might be a beautiful communication going a sort of new type of communication if you were friends now it's getting special Wow and you are celebrating this new way of communicating you've been dreaming about you've been dreaming about this but uh, you never expected it to happen this is beautiful and it's so colorful the language will be colorful believe you me okay the passion is going anyway in this corner you have the snake and the snake um, is something be to be uh, careful of because there is a snake in the grass there could be a third party that is jealous and it could be the queen of clover okay that's the clover sign so that's the ones the queen of ones is Leo there could be a Leo around that is jealous but don't exclude Aries or Sagittarius or there could be a new beginning with regarding to work or a, a moving home with regards to buying a home so read the small print in contracts okay the, be warned be warned the and Queen of Cups might just tell you give you a bit of news because we've got the uh, page of cups and we've got the Knight of Wands so you might get news of a, uh, the Queen of Fire she doesn't have to be the snake but it could be but the uh, that could be the third party because really with this love or relationship situation she could be an ex okay or she could be jealous because you've got a, par a new partner a new love a new passion and she might just be venomous okay she might be a gossiper she might be jealous or she could be an ex of him or her okay but she could also be in the scenario where you have to uh, sign contracts uh, for a house or for a job she's warning you be careful of the small print 
there is a snake in the grass so watch out for people that are slithery and slimy okay now that's also because I'm, I'm giving you this warning because we've got the justice card here because uh, the swords stand for uh, judicial affairs legalities contracts signing contracts because it's the the quill right so be careful what you sign okay but you will have victory in the end and this new beginning that you're supposed to have this poisonous person cannot stop you okay uh, you have dreamt of something perhaps you have dreamt of a third person because look I've got three cats here and four dreaming okay so this is you and you're dreaming perhaps about scenarios a third person okay three does come into the equation and so I say this could be a third person this could be an old love that is m trying to split you up with your new love <coughs> you're not willing to see it though okay so you can't believe that anybody can be such a snake in the grass so stay in balance take off that 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 blindfold and open up your heart so you can protect what protect what you love what you need for this new beginning okay so definitely the message is here don't turn a blind eye see what is around you don't be silly in not wanting to see the truth okay two cards not seeing what's happening around you not wanting to see okay life is not a party all the time that is what I'm getting to hear there is also a serious side to life okay cancer now in this corner we have the 16 and by the way this is a seven so luck is on your side and that means to say forewarned is forearmed okay and again seven one and six is seven so luck is on your side and this is the star card and the star card means that your goals your wishes are coming true you are going to celebrate you've got the eight of hearts and the eight of hearts is the eight of cups you want a new beginning you want adventure you want excitement yes but you have to be serious you have to be serious you can't party all the time okay nothing life goes up and down and that is what you have to learn but now it's on the up because you have the star okay so that is what you have to learn to be serious in the right time and to be playful and and have parties at the right time grow I get to hear grow up some of you have to grow up it's not nice to hear but you know uh, you have to take responsibility for everything you do and you don't want to land up in in negativity and you don't definitely don't want anything to do with the judicial system in a negative way so pay your bills on time I know I might be speaking to one person that is not taking life too seriously because everything is good and fun but it's like also I'm getting to hear don't uh, have a hole in your hand because you you might get into trouble right you, if you're not paying your bills or if you're not paying your insurance company uh, for your car then you sh you might land up with a big fine and that's not what you want so be serious at the right time take your responsibilities and grow up be mature about these things the fun time you know when it is fun time when you can relax sorry I just got this message for somebody okay I don't know who because I'm reading for thousands of people okay in the uh, you've got the beautiful card here the dog and the dog is number 18 which is a 9 something is coming to an end okay 
It doesn't have to be a friendship. It could be that you are realizing that you have to take action when it is appropriate. Um, that what you wish for, what you dream about, you have to come into action in order to make it happen. Okay? Um, this is very serious reading. And that is, is okay to party, but you have to see the right time. And you have to take your own responsibilities. Now, there is a friend around that is loyal, trustworthy, and luck is on your side. Now, you've got the Ten of Cups, so you are emotionally fulfilled. So, there could be an ending to being alone. Like I said, you might get a new love, and it could be the uh, a Pisces, and you've got the Ten of Hearts there. So, happy families, reunion with family and friends, partying. So, there will be a party, but you have to plan it in advance, because if you don't plan it and you invite people, they say, sorry, I'm too busy, I've already been invited, or I'm on holiday, or I can't uh, on that date, because. So plan, be grown up and mature about it, and plan things in the right sequence and at the right time, so that you get enough, um, that you have enough space, that you have enough time to have this beautiful party. Now you've got the death card, so you again an ending and a new phase is going to start for you. And in this, I love this because it looks like a skeleton, uh, literally. And you've got loads going on here. You've got the dark side of the snake and going into the light side. And the snake is also here. You've got the snake, so be careful. But the snake also sheds his skin and rebirths. Sometimes the snake is used as a rebirth symbol. And let go of the old. Not don't hold on to the old. You are in a transformational period. There's also angel wings. So the angels are with you. Okay. Look where you're going. You are going into a beautiful new period into the light. Beautiful things are going to happen. Say what you have to say. Okay. Like the way the tails are the lips of the skeleton. I think this is an amazing tattoo that would be amazing. Okay, but Scorpio uh, represents death. So you might even connect with a Scorpio. Like I said, the page is the Pisces, but don't exclude Cancer or Scorpio. Now, you have Scorpio here, and let's have a look. Now, Cancer is not here, but it could be a Cancer. Now, the angel feather that you have is a burnt orange. Burnt orange angel feather, an open door, again, a new beginning when a door opens 20 uh, when a door closes 20 will open in your case the angels says there is definitely a door opening for you the angels ask you to be very observant as you are to be presented with an exciting opportunity that could be a new job right a new house uh, it could be a new love a soulmate I think this is an awesome reading. I hope you've enjoyed it too. So take care and enjoy your week and give us uh, your appreciation by showing the thumbs up. And if you want to be the first one to receive your reading next week, then please share and like as much as you can. Get people to like it. Okay. And then you'll be the first one. Okay. And take care. Be blessed and have a wonderful weekend. Love you.